Jerry of the Circus. Jerry of the Circus. Hiya, Tom. Where are you going? Oh, no place. I was just looking for you. Where are you heading for, Jerry? I'm going over to the horse stop and get Splendor and take him for a ride. Uh, can I go with you? Sure, if you want to. Come on. Uh, hey, did you get that letter Mr. Randall said was over at his office wagon? Uh-huh. It was something special, wasn't it? Oh, say. It was from my Uncle Dan. He said he was getting better and could walk without a cane now. Is he going to get out of the hospital soon? Oh, he said it would be a little over a month before the doctors would let him leave, but... He wants to get out now. He said he feels fine. Well, if he feels good, why would they let him go? Oh, I don't know, but I guess they want to make sure he's really all well. well. Didn't you tell me that he was going to join up with the circus when he leaves the hospital? He might. Mr. Randall promised him a job if he wants it. He used to be with the circus, didn't he? Uh-huh. But before that, he was a big game hunter. He got all sorts of wild animals for circuses and zoos. Really? Sure. And he was one of the best in the world. That's a real dangerous business, I'll bet. Sure is. Well, here we are. Now let's see if we can find Whitey. There he is, way in back of the tent. See him? Oh, yeah. Whitey. Oh, Whitey. Uh, hello, Jerry. You busy? No, come on in. Come on, Tom. I'm coming. Uh, what's on your mind, Jerry? Something special? I thought I'd take Splendor out back and give him a ride and maybe try a few tricks with him. Okay, Jerry, go get him. Uh, hey, Jerry, do you think I can ride him, too? Oh, I don't know. Ask Whitey. Should I? Sure, why not? Whitey, uh, Tom here wants to ask you something. Well, what is it, son? Fire away. Well, do you think uh, that is I'm... Uh, I was wondering, could I ride Splendor, too? Uh, just a little. Well, now, I don't know, Tom. Uh, ever done any riding? Oh, sure, I can ride all right. I used to ride a lot. Mm, Splendor's a little spirited, you know. He gets pretty frisky at times. I know it. Well, if you think you can stay up in the saddle, go ahead and give it a try. Oh, gee, thanks, Whitey. That's okay, my boy, but be careful. We don't want any accidents around here. Come on, Splinter. Come on. Uh, got the saddle, Jerry? No, but I've got his bridle. You get the saddle, Tom. Uh, there it is, hanging over there. Okay, I'll bring it. We'll go right out the back way here. Come on, Splinter. You're going to get a little exercise. Uh, think you can uh, manage by yourself? Oh, sure. Uh, be sure you get that saddle on good and tight. Uh, pull that cinch strap as tight as you can. Okay, I will. Uh, come on, Tom. Yeah, I'm right behind you. If I'm not here when you get through riding, then you'll be sure to side Splinter up. All right, Whitey. Hey. This saddle is heavy, Jerry. Well, put it down. Uh, we'll saddle him up right here. Whoa, oh, Splendor. Easy now. Uh, you put the bridle on first, don't you? Uh-huh. Here. You hold on to this hauler. Okay. Uh, now, come on, Splendor. Open up. Come on. Whoa there, Splendor. Whoa. You'll take the bit all right. Come on now. That's it. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, it's getting easier every time, but he sure didn't like that bit in his mouth the first time. Uh, throw that blanket over him now, will you? Coming up. Here you are. Now the saddle. Uh, there we are. Oh, Splendor. He sure is anxious to go. Whoa, there, boy. Whoa, take it easy now. Hey, look at your hand. Did you hurt it? No, why? It's all red. Oh, that, that's nothing. I got that when I was picking the strawberries we had for breakfast. Boy, they, they sure were good, weren't they? I'll say. The first ones we had this year, and were they swell? Nice and sweet. Well, he's ready now. I got the cinch strap good and tight. You want to ride him first? Can I? Sure, go ahead. Get on. Okay. Easy now, Splinter. I guess he knows he's going to have a new rider. That's right. Up he goes. 
Hold on tight, Tom. Oh, I'm all right. Boy, are you going. Uh, Jerry! Yeah, Whitey? Hey, Tom, all right? This blender's not running away with him, is he? No, he's all right, Whitey. Oh, say, I, I got a scare for a minute. I just happened to look out when Splinter took off with Tom. Well, for all the world, it looked like that coat was out of control. No, Tom can handle him swell. Yeah, I see now. He's heading him back this way. This boy sure knows what it's all about when it comes to riding. Good for you, Tom. You're a keen rider. You're doing all right, son. Whoa, whoa, Splinter. Whoa. Boy, he sure can run. I told you he was spirited. He's the fastest little pony I ever saw. Yes, sir, there's no doubt about that. Did you ever try to jump with him, Jerry? No, not yet. Why? Well, he wants to jump. How can you tell? Well, did you notice when I got him way out there by that fence? No, I wasn't looking just well, then. Well, he sure wanted to go over the fence, all right. I could tell. He put on a lot of extra speed and wanted to head right for it. Uh, did you ever ride a jumper, Tom? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, think you'd like to try Splendor out? Oh, I sure would. Oh, well, if he wants to make that fence, uh, go ahead and give it a try. But be careful. Okay. Come on, Splendor. Get up. Just look at him go. Jerry, that boy is a natural-born rider. He handles that colt like he's been riding him for years. Hey, look at, look at Whitey. He, he's getting to the fence. <laughs> he's over. He did it. Good for him. Boy, that was sure pretty. Yes, it was, Jerry. His first jump, and just as pretty as ever I've seen. Had a lot of room to spare, too. Here he comes back now. Just look at him. Oh, say, Splinter seems to just sort of sense he's got a good rider up in the saddle. Uh, uh, bring him over here, Tom. How was that for a high jump? Oh, that was fine, Tom. Really fine. Say, you sure can ride, Tom. Uh, better get down now and uh, let Splendor rest a few minutes. We don't want to overdo a good thing, you know. Okay. Pull there, Splendor. Oh, boy. Nice pony. That was sure fun. Splendor's a jumper all right, isn't he? I'll say he is. He went over that fence just like a bird. Uh, say, Tom. Yeah, Whitey? Uh, did anybody ever tell you what a good rider you were? No, why? Well, sir, I think you're the best little horseman in the world for your age. I've never seen your equal. Aw, oh, quit kidding me. No, I'm not, Tom. You're a natural-born jockey. What Whitey says he means. You bet I do. Now, now, let me take a look at those hands of yours. Here. Mm-hmm. Just what I thought. What about his hands? Well, they're bigger than yours, aren't they? Yeah, I guess they are. They're almost as big as mine. Well, well, what about it? Those big hands, Tom, and your strong arms have a lot to do with your being a good rider. It takes good, strong hands to handle a horse. you got to be able to hang on to the reins, hold your horse down, and then let him out when you want more speed. I know what you mean. I held Splendor back till just before we got to the fence, and then I let him go and gave him all the reins he wanted. That's it, exactly. Uh, did you ever think of becoming a jockey? Uh-uh. Well, you'd be a good one. Yeah, you're just about the right size. Uh, how much do you weigh? Oh, uh, I think about 95 pounds. Hmm, that's just about right. Jockeys can't be too heavy, can they? No, no, they got to keep their weight down. Yet, they have to be strong, good and strong. I'd sure like to ride a racehorse sometime. I'll bet it's exciting. You bet it is. Say, hmm. hey, can I ride Splendor now? He's all quieted down. Okay, Jerry. Uh, but you better not try any jumps with him. If he starts with that fence back there, you hold him down and turn him away from it. Okay, I will. I'll bet Splinter heads right for the fence again. He sure likes to jump. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Oh, Splinter. Oh, now. Take it easy. Oh, uh, can you get up on him all right there, Jerry? Oh, sure. Now, you be careful. Oh, I will. Giddy up, Splinter. Come on. Uh, Jerry tells me you're leaving us when we get to Fordham tomorrow. Is that right, Tom? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to try to find my father when I get there. Is that so? Uh, what's your father do? Uh, I don't know, but... Mr. I mean, Colonel Alger said that he thinks my father has a horse out at the county fair that he's going to put in the big race. Uh, take it easy, Jerry. Don't run too fast. I won't, but he sure wants to go. He keeps heading for the fence all the time. Well, head him out the other end of the lot. Practice those turns with him. All right. Giddy up, Splinter. Turn. <laughs> Look at that boy go. He sure likes to ride. Uh, 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 what were you saying about the, the fair in Fordham, Tom? Well, I said that Colonel Alger thought my father was out at the fairgrounds. He said he had a horse. Yeah, you did say that. Well, uh, it won't be hard to find him then. Uh, by the way, I understand that's going to be some race out at the fair. The big one, I mean. They're sending racehorses from all over the state for that big handicap. Is that so? Yeah, that's what I hear. Well, then I guess my father won't have a chance. Why, what do you mean, Tom? Well... Colonel Alger said everyone was making fun of Dad because his horse used to be a fire horse. And they said he didn't show any speed at all. Well, I wouldn't put any stock in hearsay. Your daddy most likely knows what he's doing. Look at Splinter take those turns. First one way and then the other. Yep, he's learning fast. 
Uh, say, I meant to ask you, uh, how's Charlie feeling? Is he getting over those measles all right? Oh, sure. He's getting better all the time. And the doctor is sure having a hard time keeping him in bed. Well, I guess it's pretty tough for a fellow as active as Charlie Alger to have to stay in a bed. <laughs> he likes to be up and doing things. Did you know the Rusoff troop was going out to the fair in Fordham? Mm-hmm, yes. They're, they're going to put on some stunts and trick riding as a sort of an advertisement for the circus. Here he comes, and boy, look at him gallop. What? How is that for speed? All right, Jerry, all right. Splendor's taking those commands nice now. I bet he is. I think he likes to take commands and make turns and everything. Well, he sure seems to. Sure, horses like to learn. Uh, next time Jerry comes over here to ride Splendor, you come along, Tom, and... Uh... Oh, that's right. Uh, you're leaving the outfit tomorrow. I forgot. What were you going to say, Whitey? Well, I thought I'd like to have Tom do some more uh, jumping with Splendor. Oh, can I jump with him? Well, now I don't know, Jerry. There's a trick to it, and Tom seems to know that trick. You might be able to learn, but, well, I wouldn't want you to take a fall while Splendor's making a high jump. You? Hey, there's Patsy. Oh, hi, you, Patsy. I'm looking for you, Jerry. And for you, too, Whitey. Well, what's up? Why, you're all excited. Well, it might be serious, Whitey. What mm -hmm. might be serious? Well, Dr. Williams is very much afraid that the whole circle, uh, circus is taken down with a measles. You Me? don't no. know why that's oh, bad. Well, that looks that way. The doctor thinks that someone caught the measles from Colonel Alger, and now it's spreading all around. Come on, we better hurry. Well, hurry to where? For what? Oh, I'm so excited, I forgot. You see, we all have to go right over to the hospital top and get in line. <laughs> Dr. Williams is examining everybody in the circus. What? Yes, well, one of the Carlton boys broke out with red blotches all over his face. Mm -hmm. Well, and then Mr. Murray turned up with the same kind of blotches on his oh, arms. And, well, well the, the doctor thinks maybe everybody is breaking out with the measles. Mm. And he wants all of you to come right over now for an examination. But Tom and I don't have to go. We've had them when we were little, and we can't get them again. Well, I don't know about that, Jerry, but I was told to get you and have you report for the examination, too. Well, I guess Doc knows what he's doing. We'd better get along. It sure would be awful if the whole outfit took down with the pesky measles and had to be quarantined. Hey, look, Whitey. Hey, look at your arm. Huh? You've got funny little red marks. What? Say, this is no joke. Come on, let's get right over to Doc Williams and find out what this is all about. Uh -huh. 